Living Alternatives is promoting a culture of life with three locations, seven programs, and one mission. The Axia Center provides community-based help during pregnancy and supports life choices. Father Heart Residential Care provides support during pregnancy. And Loving Alternative provides adoptive options for mothers as a life choice. Thanks to you, we are able to provide a living alternative. Hey, I'm Nathan, and uh, my birth mother was about 30 years old when she was going to school in West Texas. And uh, she was going to school there, and she found herself in a situation where she was pregnant. And she didn't have family, she didn't have a lot of support, and uh, she was kind of at a loss for what to do. I'm Lauren, I'm 24, and I grew up in a single parent home with my brothers, uh, two brothers, and um, whenever I was 11, my mom passed away um, from a heart disease. We ended up going into um, foster care, and um, we ended up getting separated uh, at that point. Um, at a young age, I really felt unloved and um, not cared for and um, really alone oftentimes. Hi, my name is Jessica Ott and I'm a photojournalism high school teacher. When I was 20 years old, one man in particular um, lied to me, all these things, and I found myself pregnant. I was going to school at TJC, so I went to the Pregnancy Resource Center right across from TJC and I was definitely positive and um, I had to make a decision on what I was going to do from there. What I ended up not doing was having an abortion, even though the bio dad wanted that. But I just remember feeling super scared, like how am I going to go forward with a baby? I'm trying to finish college. Hi, my name is Jessica. So I went to the Pregnancy Resource Center and met with Doreen. We did a, a pregnancy test and um, come to find out that I was pregnant, which I was devastated. I, I mean, abortion was the first thing that came to my mind. I didn't want a child. I didn't want to deal with a child. She asked me, what did I think about adoption? I was like, oh, it didn't even come to my mind. Um, what about adoption? Well, my name is Latia, and I was very frightened at first. Um, because I really didn't necessarily want to be pregnant. She told me that I was pregnant, of course. I had my little cry. And um, she told me that it was going to be okay. And then we prayed. And so this friend of hers said, hey, let's go out to East Texas. I know this ministry. And she, she noticed a difference at Living Alternatives where they actually cared and valued her as an individual. She had the time and the opportunity to consider if she wanted to, to single parent, to get married, or to place me for adoption. As Bev Klein and the other staff gave her the opportunity to process that, um, she ended up deciding, you know what, the most loving thing that I can do for my son would be to place him for adoption. But um, when I was uh, at a home in Marshall, um, I remember um, being brought to Keeps um, and just really feeling known and loved and seen um, and shown the love of God as a father. Through the love um, that was shown to me um, it keeps, I was able to find my living alternative. So I think when I moved into Father Heart, it was really good for me and my family just to have that middle man. I mean, that house feels like home no matter who you are when you walk in, um, and you can just feel Jesus in it. And so I did choose the living alternative to have him be my child. And, and then I decided to stick with that and parent him. And right now, I'm still teaching. My husband actually works um, as a marketer for home health care. And Caleb, this kid is so amazing. He's intelligent. He loves Jesus more than any person I know in the world. Like He just lives to share the gospel. Um, it's just really awesome to see. And I'm so blessed that I'm Caleb's mom. She you know, through God's love, made me know that adoption was the right choice. 
I wanted to give my child to somebody who could not have one. Even after meeting Paul and Monica, just the openness of them, the open heart that they had, it meant a lot to me. It made me feel wanted, it made me feel loved, it made me feel supported. They, they sent me pictures, they would send me updates, and now, eight years later, they are still doing the same thing, and I'm very thankful for Doreen and Carol and what they have showed me and taught me through the way. Um, whenever I came into Building Blocks, I was unsure if I wanted to keep my baby, but um, with the guidance of Danielle, I was assured that I'd be okay if I decided to keep my baby. Through the Building Blocks program, I was supported in my choice for a living alternative for my baby. This is my daughter, Alana. She was born on September the 3rd, and she is, I think, the sweetest, quietest baby I think I've ever met in my life. The day that she placed me in my mother's arms, she took a moment and she went to, the, to a room off to the side, and, uh, and she was just looking at me and, and praying over me, and she just felt like God kind of whispered in her heart, uh, Carol, if you raise Nathan, you'll be doing a good thing, but if you place him for an adoption, you'll be doing a great thing. She said, what if he never knows how much I love him? And she just felt like the Lord whispered in her heart, Carol, most of the world never knows how much I love them and what I would do for them, but I'm willing to do it because that's what love is. And she thought, I love Nathan. I can do this. I can place him for adoption. And so she placed me for adoption. And uh, here I am, I'm, uh, I'm 28, I'm a missionary with Youth with a Mission here in East Texas, and uh, I have my mom, I have my dad, the ones who raised me, and uh, just had a blast growing up with my siblings and with, with my parents who raised me. I believe it's God's heart to see lives transformed and to see people in hopeless situations come to have restoration in their life and, and God to redeem these hopeless situations. And it's through people like you who give and partner with Living Alternatives that uh, provide a place for people like my birth mother, Carol, to come and to have the support that they need for her to make the decision that she made and for me to be here to have a Living Alternative.